Hello, Colin. How are you? Hey, Rama. I'm doing well. How are you? Good, good, good. Congratulations on The Hill arriving in theaters August 25. Dude, I was a huge fan of your previous show, Daybreak. I was oh. so sad when it, it didn't continue, but I'm glad you keep trucking on, brother. Thank and you. you yeah, you've got this new film, which I've already watched and very much enjoyed. Big fan of sports dramas. Amazing. So I'm going to start with uh, asking you the obvious question. Are you yourself a base baseball fan? Meaning, oh. prior to this film, did you play baseball, anything like that? I did, I did. I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, became a, an Atlanta Braves fan at an uh, early age. Was a big fan of Chipper Jones and John Smoltz, who uh, makes, uh, makes a little surprise uh, appearance in the film, which is which was a full circle moment for me, which was amazing. So Braves fan growing up and then moved out to Los Angeles and now I'm a Dodgers fan. Oh, Dodgers. Hopefully they're, they're having a good season, hopefully this year. <laughs> <laughs> so far. <laughs> Obviously, this is a biopic and your character, uh, Ricky, uh, actually exists. Uh, did you get the chance to talk with him uh, to pick his brain as part of your research? Talk to me about that. I did, yeah. Ricky Hill was on set with us uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I had a lot of time to get with him beforehand to learn more about his personal story, some things that maybe weren't in the script that he was able to share with me that allowed me to kind of take my preparation for Ricky to the next level. So it was amazing to get to get to work with him uh, on set and to kind of have him as an asset uh, during the filming process. Even though even though The Hill is not officially described as a faith-based movie, it's labeled as a sports inspirational drama, but there are a lot of Christian elements in the story. I noticed from your Twitter account uh, that you had a Philippians 413, you know? So talk to me about that. Did you come from that background and was that a, a, a big motivator for why you wanted to take this role? Yeah, you know, um, I I grew up in the church. You know, my my family, um, you know, we, going to church on Sunday was always part of our, our regular schedule. Um, I found my own faith through my high school classes that I took. Uh, had some Bible classes that I later took uh, in school that kind of reinvigorated my faith at a later date. And in those classes, one of my favorite verses that I found was Philippians four thirteen, uh, which after flipping through the script and realizing that uh, is a, a, a is kind of footnoted uh, in Ricky's life. Uh, I was like immediately drawn in. I thought that was so cool. I just I thought that there was a little bit of divine intervention going on when I first read the script, and I, I just said I'd love to be a part of this in any way. Uh, so, in what ways do you think that this movie can also resonate with you know general audiences, not just you know Christian or faith based audiences? I think that you know, look in anything in our lives, you know, through hard work, grit, and determination. Uh, and a little bit of faith uh, in what you're doing and hope, you know, you can achieve anything. You know, success is on the horizon and just out there for you to, to kind of reach out and take it. And I think that's kind of the moral of this film. It's the moral of the story. And I think that's something that people can, um, you know, use in their day-to-day -day life to achieve their goals and dreams as well. Uh, I've interviewed Dennis Quaid before in the past, uh, a consummate gentleman, just a fantastic actor, a legend. So what's it like working with Dennis? Because the father-son dynamics is an integral or big part of the story. What was your process with him in creating that dynamic? You know, uh, working with Dennis, first of all, was a dream, a dream come true of mine. I've been a fan of his films from a very, very young age. Um, I think that, you know, there was a little bit of nervousness when I got to set, uh, you know, wor working opposite such a, a fabulous actor with such a, a seasoned career, I was nervous myself. And I think that lent to um, the dynamic between Ricky and his father. They didn't have a strained relationship. However, they did have this hurdle that they were going through, which was that Ricky wanted to play baseball and his father would like him to pursue in uh, his footsteps. I think that th the anxiety or the, the nervousness around um, that in their lives, I think, was kind of similar to how I felt going on set and working with Dennis and just wanting to perform well and do the best job I could do for him and for the film. Um, so I think that <laughs> there was a little bit of uh, of that placed into uh, on the on set situations <laughs> when trying to get into character. But all in all, we had an incredible experience and I feel like I was able to learn so much from him. Fun question. Did you get to keep uh, any of the jerseys or the bats or the baseballs home with you after the production? You know, I thought about bringing some stuff in today and I was running out the door so fast and, and realizing right now in this moment that I forgot. But I have uh, so I have um, some gloves that I played with um, during the filming process. I have my ball cap. 
Um, I have I, uh, I have one of the bats that we didn't use. Um, we had a bunch of different bats, and I have one of the bats that we didn't use. And I went around and I got most of the cast, most of the crew, as many people as I could get the last few days that were on set to sign this bat. So I have some pretty cool items that I will keep forever. Now, above all else, uh, the hill is a story about persistence. You know, <clears throat> Ricky ultimately never gave up on his dream, despite his personal circumstances and despite all the naysayers. Very inspiring, very uplifting. I guess my final question to you is uh, along the same line. What drives you as an actor, Colin? Because it's a tough world out there for actors. There's a lot of naysayers, too. And, and you can have self-doubt about yourself, you know, going out there. So what is it, the thing that keeps you going as an actor, and, you know, to, to hit off all the naysayers out there? It's tough you know, because, like you said, there are a lot of times where you go through turbulent times and you go, oh, I don't know if this is the right thing for me to be doing. But, you know, in my heart, I've always believed that acting was was something that I was meant to do, just like Ricky believed he uh, was meant to play baseball. Uh, I think that there's an inherent like self-belief that you have to have in yourself in order to pursue your dream. Uh, and that when bad things happen and trials and tribulations come your way, just keeping your eye on the prize and realizing that you know, your goal it was set for a reason and you just got to keep taking one step forward to get there uh, and you will be successful in the future. I think that that's something that I've adopted into my own life and, you know, just take it one day at a time and hopefully it all plays out. All right. For my fans at home, everybody go check out The Hill, arriving in theaters August 25. Colin, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Take care.